I'm here on the rest day of the Tour de France in beautiful Switzerland near Bern, about to go on a rest day ride with Tinkoff, including, of course, world champion Peter Sagan. Oleg Tinkoff's here as well. He's even got his two kids with him. We're going to go for a spin by the lake for about an hour. It should be beautiful. So Michael here on this rest day, it's been a really difficult Tour de France. Aside from the ride itself, how do you like to relax on one of these days? Oh, I like to do as little as possible, you know, just laying in my bed, watching uh, television, call my girlfriend and whatever, you know, just do nothing at all actually, that would be the, the perfect scenario for me. And how far do you usually like to go? Because some riders like to do two hours, others one hour is okay. Is there an optimum distance or does it depend on what's happening the following day? I think it depends on the, the following day. Like the day, the first rest day we start in Andorra, the day after we have to do a little bit more intention, but tomorrow we have more or less flat, the first 150, I think. So it's okay to do less today, I think. I hope, <laughs> but we, we will see. Are we in for a nice cup of coffee today on the ride, do you think? What, what's the plan? Yeah, I guess so. I think that's typical of rest day. You go. Know, one and a half hour for us, you know, and then we have a good coffee stop with some coffee. And like last rest day, we had a, a, a quick chat about the, the exit of Alberta and what the future goal is going to be. All the hell of speech. Maybe we do that again because we had a pretty good week. So maybe I think the last week is all about uh, encouraging each other and believing each other. And then we can do a pretty good, good result. I'm here with Roman Kreuziger on this beautiful day. What's the best thing, Roman, about a rest day, especially in a location like this? Ah, the location is great. If you look behind and you see the Mont Blanc uh, with the snow and the green at the lake, it's, it's amazing. It relaxes a lot, but uh, we know also that the next days what are coming will be pretty hard, so you can relax really too much because, of course, it keeps the body to to relax a lot, but uh, it's better to keep the ten tense, the, the tightness of the body because uh, you have to perform in the next days. We're now going to go for a bit of a spin, aren't we? Huh? We're now going to go for a little ride. Yeah, a little ride. Uh, I hope it'll be very short. Very short, about an hour, about an hour, with some, maybe some coffees. Yeah, for sure. Nice one, thanks Peter. Thank you. Oleg takes the sprint there in, do in very dominant fashion for a bit of a bonus. Obviously, he's a man who needs some money, but uh, he's taking that bonus. He's got his pride. He's got his pride. We're also waiting to see if these guys stop for a coffee. I'm not too sure if they will or not, but uh, it's going to be a very quick ride, I think. Quite a short run today. Done about 45 minutes so far, just along the shores of the lake. Absolutely stunning. Managed to take a little bit of footage on my phone. Just a nice bit of an opportunity to spin the legs. Oleg took the first sprint. There's only one hot spot sprint. He took the bonification and the 50 euros prize. So he's going to be buying the drinks today, which is which is good. Yeah. How does he feel out on the road? You look pretty sharp. This kind of road is no problem for me. Grand Colombier is a problem for me. <laughs> there you go. He's obviously got good sprinting legs today. We're just ordering a, uh, a Swiss drink speciality. Not too sure what it is. It's like Fanta and milk combined. We shall soon see. We've all ordered one. It's definitely not a coffee, but we'll just see what happens. Here we go again. So the ride has ended, Peter, as expected, lots of fans milling about, asking for a selfie and stuff. Cheers, Peter. Take it easy. Nice little wave there. But yeah, that was really nice. It was only quite a short spin, about an hour. We had a, a short break just by the, the lakeside for a couple of soft drinks and a bit of a loosener with the legs. But all in all, a nice spin. So there we go, a rest day ride with Tinkoff and Pete Sagan. Will this bike be ridden? to another stage victory. Only time will tell. 
well, while we're talking about the Tour de France, for all things Tour de France, how about clicking just up here for our TDF playlist? And for my Vuelta Espana ride with Pete Sagan last year, how about clicking just down here? And to subscribe to GCN, as ever, click on the globe. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this beauty for a spin.